Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm going to talk about the Backed app. Now, recently, Backed announced a partnership with MasterCard as well as Fiserv, two of the world's largest financial services companies. Now, with this partnership, this adds on to the features that now MasterCard and Fiserv can provide to their customers uh, on the consumer side as well as on the business side, the ability to transact using cryptocurrencies and other digital currencies. And shortly after that announcement, the stock of the backed company, ticker symbol BKKT, it went from $9 or a little bit below $9 all the way up to $60 just in one day. And so as you can expect, that made a lot of news just off the backing of that, the announcement of that partnership, mostly with MasterCard because, you know, more people know who MasterCard is. Most people don't really know a lot about Fiserv, but because of that MasterCard announcement, that put a lot of people's eyes on the company called Backed. And so what I'm gonna talk about today is the actual Backed app and how you can use it to transact with cryptocurrencies and potentially other digital assets in the future. Now the Backed app functions as a cryptocurrency exchange. You can actually buy and sell Bitcoin and you can also transact with other people who may have the Backed app using Bitcoin. But not only can you buy and sell Bitcoin, you can actually use that Bitcoin within the same app to make purchases. And so within the backed app, not only do you have the exchange for Bitcoin, but you can also deposit cash in order to make payments for items. You can also uh, add gift cards. You can buy gift cards and you can even include your loyalty rewards points and transfer those points instead of just sitting in, you know, maybe your Chipotle or your Starbucks account. You can now redeem those for cash and now you can use it within the backed app to make purchases at other stores. And so this app isn't just about Bitcoin. This is about all types of digital assets and being able to use those to make purchases every day. And so Bact has already partnered with many large retail companies. Uh, just a few that you can see within the app are Choice Hotels, Starbucks, Quiznos, and Wyndham Hotels. And in addition, they partner with a company called Finastra, which will enable crypto trading for community banks as well as credit unions. So it's not just consumers, but also on the merchant side that they're making partnerships, just like with the mention of Fiserv and MasterCard. And so they've also partnered with Google and Apple. And so you can actually use your backed app, just like a debit card or a credit card via the Google Pay app or the Apple Pay app. So anywhere that accepts Google Pay or Apple Pay, you can actually use the backed app or the debit card that you create in the backed app to make purchases wherever you go as long as Google Pay or Apple Pay are an acceptable payment method. And so this really increases the amount of places that you can actually technically spend Bitcoin because within the app, you can either have your Bitcoin as basically your payment, or you can transact with cash. You can deposit cash into the back app and you can also redeem your loyalty rewards either for a gift card or for cash. And one of the things that really stood out is the fact that you can convert your loyalty rewards. If you think about all of the loyalty rewards programs that maybe you've signed up for, you know, maybe if you use the Starbucks app, you get points every time you shop at Starbucks. And sometimes you may just have those points sitting. Maybe you don't want to use all of those points to, to buy more Starbucks, but now you can actually convert those Starbucks points into cash within the back app. And then you can use it at any other store that you want to. And that goes for other loyalty rewards programs. Like, like I mentioned, Choice Hotels was another one uh, that another company that they partnered with. And you'll see here all of the different companies that they partnered with. And so that means you can log into your account with that specific company, log in within the backed app, and then you can connect those points with the backed app so that you can use it to make purchases elsewhere, redeem it for cash or redeem it for gift cards. And so of course, once it's available as cash in your account, you can also use that cash to purchase Bitcoin. So it makes it really easy to have all of these within one app. You have Bitcoin, you have your cash, you have loyalty rewards, you have gift cards, and you can you only need that one app or that one account to make purchases with all those different types of digital assets. And so if you think about a company like maybe a Gemini or BlockFi, who they have their credit card where, you know, in the past you would receive rewards points, Maybe you can redeem those for cash. And then once you redeem it for cash, you have to then transfer them to your bank account. And then once they're in your bank account, then you can spend it. Well, all of these are all within one app now. And so that's what I think actually makes the backed app. Maybe an app that you may, may want to use in the future. 
And that's what makes this really interesting with the Backed app because it brings all of those things together and, you know, it creates one central place where you can spend all of those digital assets. But not only spending, but also just sending to friends and family. Uh, that makes it very similar to like the Cash app or Venmo. Let's say you're going out to a restaurant and you want to split a bill. You can just send money to your friend or your family member through the Backed app and you can either send them Bitcoin, you can send them uh, cash. Either way, both work. And so that makes it really cool to be able to do both of those within the same app. And I would say that the Cash app is probably the closest comparison to the Backed app. The only difference is that you can't purchase stocks within the Backed app, but both the Cash app and the Backed app, you're able to transfer from person to person. You know, you're doing peer-to-peer -peer payments. You can buy Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin. And you can also make purchases because the Cash app also has a debit card as well. And so the app is pretty simple to use. You can connect your bank account. They use Plaid to connect with many hundreds of maybe if not thousands of different banks. So you log into your bank account through that and then that, then you can use that to deposit cash. And then you can use that cash to transact either with your, uh, your virtual debit card that's within the back app using Google Pay or Apple Pay, or you can use that cash to now purchase Bitcoin. Now the minimum that you can deposit as far as cash is $50 and you can deposit up to $999 at a time. And so in order to buy gift cards or to purchase Bitcoin, you do have to have cash in your account first. Uh, the one thing that I didn't like about using the app once I tested it out is that, you know, I made a deposit and it took over five business days before I, it was, the cash was actually available to use into the account. And so that part was really slow. Usually apps like this, it takes maybe two to three business days, you know, even transferring from bank to bank. That usually takes about two to three business days. And this wasn't over a holiday. So, you know, you may have that excuse of, you know, there was one additional day that they couldn't because of the holiday, but five straight business days and the cash still wasn't available in the account. And so, you know, maybe after making multiple deposits over time, maybe that deposit time is faster. But with my initial deposit and it was only a hundred dollar deposit, it took over five days for that cash to become available in the app. But I do think this could be a really cool app. As I mentioned, there are multiple ways that you can bring digital assets as well as cash into the account and then use that app via Google Pay or Apple Pay to make real world purchases, even if you're making purchases with Bitcoin. And so that was just a quick overview of the backed app. I will test it out a little bit more because like I said, it took over five days to even get the cash in to be able to try to make a transaction. Um, I did test out logging into my Starbucks account and you know that way I was able to see my actual points within the backed app. I haven't tried any other loyalty rewards program, but that's one that I wanted to try and figured that probably more people would actually have that as well, just to use that as an example. So based on what you've learned from this video so far, is this an app that you would want to use where you're bringing not only Bitcoin, you're bringing your Bitcoin, you're bringing regular USD cash, gift cards, as well as many different loyalty rewards programs and being able to use those points and redeem them for cash all within the same app. So if you've used it in the past, let me know your experience in the comments below. If you haven't, let me know what you think about the app based on what you've learned today. Leave that in the comments below as well. And all right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.